Good morning, people. Up on the ledge, and yeah, it's a tad windy. Bloody hell. So, came up here last night. I thought, where can I go? And I thought, oh, do you know what? But there was a there's a van in front of me. There was one in front of him, a motorhome. But the motorhome's gone. But it's just me and a white van now. But I don't know if you can hear that wind coming through the cracks of the window. But yeah, the van is like that. But we're quite steady because you're on a tripod, and the tripod will move with the van. But oh yeah, as soon as you open that sliding door. Wow, yeah. But the wind's moving round, it'll hit the front, it'll hit the back, it comes into the side, it's just in a swirl at the moment. Yeah. Got up about quarter to nine. So that was only because of this one crying. Let her out. What'd she get me? A bloody storm. Yes. <laughs> right, I got a coffee. Second one of the morning. Up to now. Got myself breakfast. I'm going to try and eat a bit more healthier because I'm putting on a few more pounds. Even though the camera does put 10 pounds on you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> I give her the apple cores. I don't know, she's not going to take her eyes off us. <laughs> Put some uh, under cabinet lights that go all up there. I'm joining with my red ones. I'll put a caption in now of what they like at night. Now look at this. Whoa. Look at these lights. I had them off uh, Dave Outdoors oh, months ago and I forgot about them. I was cleaning the cupboard out that I'm sitting on, the drawer, and I uh, came across them so I stuck them up. Wired them to the same switch here so you can see. Oh, I'm on. But yeah, they're bloody awesome. They go up there and then all across there. Bloody awesome. Made a huge difference in here. Now back to the video. Thank you very much to my assistant for trading him up. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these lights have made a huge difference. Especially the under ones under the unit here. At night it's yeah. I haven't got to put extra lights on to see the kettle or what I'm doing, the coffee and the cup in it. It's just bloody fantastic. Yeah. I don't really need any more lights in here because between them and the red ones on, my god, yeah, it's it's like Blackpool. Oh dear. Got my daughter today, so I'm picking her up. Uh, 12, half 12, somewhere in there. No doubt she'll message me in a bit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I've got an itchy eye. Yeah, Yerry. Itchy eye. Those uh, lanterns there, well, they keep coming off. As soon as I'm going over potholes and stuff like that, the little, um, they're like little eye hooks. I think I've got one here. That's the one that came out. So they're only them. Didn't think it focused then. But I took the lights out of it and kind of put them in here. So I'm thinking if I put the other one from there into there, it'll give it a feature at night, won't it? Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I don't see you look pretty in them lights. See how they're different colours though? Both from the same one. 
yeah, kind of like them a bit better. Focus. I'll just show you why I'm filming more inside this morning because it is a nice day, sunny day. Absolutely bloody freezing out there. Yeah. Does my hair look alright? Is it blowing everywhere? Bloody hell. I only straightened my bloody eyebrows this morning. I'm gonna wreck them in the wind. Sun's driven. Oh bloody hell. You and your bloody toys, get it? I'm not getting a view. See, like a slug getting off the bed, honestly, she just drags her back end off, her back legs off. <laughs> she might need the toilet, actually. You're up on your own, I'm not standing up there with you. You're a big girl now, you're allowed to go on your own. She was a pup. She wouldn't go to the toilet unless I was out stood with her. So snow, rain, hail, sleet. Uh, muggins here had to bloody go out with her. Steady when she was a pup when we first had her. You know, you could put it in your hand. And I used to pick it up, take it outside, stand there with her to make sure she had the wheat, because it didn't want her to go back in and wait. And uh, yeah, it just stands it from there. Every time I take her out, I was with her, so she associates now going to the toilet with Muggins here, stood next to it. Yeah, my front passenger and driver window, they're only open two and a half, maybe three inches in within that uh, uh, wind deflector. And the uh, bloody wind coming through them. Yeah. I might make a move in a minute anyway, go down to a bit more civilization because it's here up in the mountains I've been. And it's too windy to stand outside watching her playing and what have you. Me yes. Isn't it? No, it's not. Let me out. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't start talking voice over for her. <laughs> To all MotoGP fans or any bike fans, you'll know what that is. If you don't, it's uh, Valentino Rossi. He's retired now. But yeah, absolutely legend on a motorbike. MotoGP racing. Kind of all gone downhill now without him, isn't it? I still watch it, but yeah, the excitement for me isn't there now. Yeah, I got that one in 2015 in Silverstone when he uh, he won his first race there. All the years he's been racing and he he's, he's never won at Silverstone, but he won in the rain. Because we were soaked. Oh my God, yeah, torrential rain and he goes and wins his first race. <laughs> Just coming down from the ledge now and uh, there's a tree collapsed in the road. I can't really film too much now, there's police in there. Hello. Oh, i, I got to tell you this. I've been with my daughter this afternoon. I didn't put her on film. So she's got a stone. And uh, we went to Mackey's. And then it's, they didn't have McFlurries. So I said, come on, we'll go to Slangothlin. We'll have uh, ice cream there. Because she mentioned a few weeks ago that her friend works there and they might be looking for part-time staff. So he calls in there. I get an ice cream. She gets ice cream. And uh, coming to the end of it now, the owner comes out and he's asking how the flavours were and that because the cherry one I had was a brand new flavour and it was amazing. Oh my god. So I said my daughter wants to have a chat. So we looked at it and yeah, she just blatted it all out that she was after work and uh, they, uh, had they taken on any part time staff and this. Because she does suffer with a bit of anxiety, so yeah, that she was just amazing, and uh, she got the jump. She's got to go in now for 
a couple of days trial um, to be trained up because he said at the end of the day he said you might not like it we might not like it so they're gonna go from there but she's got a foot in the door so I am made up for you love you to bits so come up here on the panorama for tonight it's a beautiful evening it's quarter to eight at night so I had my daughter most of today so yeah I haven't done much filming but I'm back here now she's there checking the perimeter I'm parked there that's part of uh, Clan Gotlin down there that was sage. I haven't eaten yet either, so I'm gonna have uh, some pizza tonight. Sourdough pizza, chili pizza. Gonna have that for me tea tonight. It's the chili jam sourdough pizza. And that, which is preheating. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a, a giant uh, sandwich. But inside is filled with all that goodness. Yeah, it's getting on now. It's uh, coming up to 20 past 8. So I'm going to enjoy that. I might watch the Chelsea and Everton. It's already started, but I might just watch that. Someone to watch while I'm having my pizza. You know what the hell she was doing, huh? nothing. So I'll catch you a lot later. Buongiorno. What a lovely morning this is. It's another van there, got his engine running. So, this is absolutely spectacular. Bloody hell. Look at that blue sky as well. Don't let that sun fool you, it is bloody freezing. Bloody hell. Isn't it girl? Well you won't notice, will you? God almighty that wind's biting. There's no heater on, I just put the kettle on and it's 14.5 uh, degrees in here. So it's not too bad but in that wind out there whoa yeah bloody freezing you're gonna end up losing your toys at the door when I open it just got the door ajar and I got the kettle going oh yeah on the panorama this morning came here like I say came here last night that van was already there last night when I got here but I didn't think anybody was in there but it was about an hour after I stopped filming, I heard the, the engine turning over, so, yeah. Oh, Fubanke, there go! I've literally been up about, what time is it? Quarter to nine. About 15 minutes. Wait, yes, we would be out. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I got my coffee. Oh, my coaster. I've always been a bugger for coasters. So, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I'll feed you in a minute. You just have a long come in. You go out in a bit anyway. Have a bit of a run before you have your food. Yes. Oh, don't drink that. Oh, blinking, a great night's sleep. Absolutely brilliant night's sleep. When I was in bed before 12. So, yeah, I passed eight, eight and a half hours. So, oh. Need to charge that today before it goes too low. It's just getting to half now, so, yeah. That's about two days straight of bloody charges. <laughs> A 
come on up. Hey, up. These lights here now, these white ones, are insane at night. <laughs> I don't, and they're only 12 volt uh, LEDs. And I got no reason now to light any put any of the lights on. I took my lanterns down, give them a new home, put my lights that were in there in my nets, and uh, they, they look they look nice at night. Bloody awesome. Still got this one, but like I say, this one's more for sage. If I have to pop out at night or something, I put it on uh, motion sensor so she moves. It lights up for her so she can see where the water and everything is. In the morning, it's like a tsunami of dog hair in here. Floor's a mess. Everything's a mess. Hair. Dog hair. So I'll brush that up in a bit. Yes, yeah, you. I have seen it worse than this to be honest. She's been blowing her coat the last couple, the last week, but she's starting to slow down now. So yeah, that's good news. Like magic, no hair. It's a pet friendly hair, it's just more like a rubber and it's got like a scraper, so if you use the scraper and the bristles, it just pulls all the hair out of your rugs and your bedding. It's been everywhere, isn't it? Yes. Right. Oh, I'll say good morning. Have you said good morning? Oh, yeah, I've said it, have you? Oh, no. I'll let you off. Oh, thank you, Nick. Hey, come on. Day in, day out. Yes. What's the matter with you? Can't you hold your toys up there? No. Come on, on your bed. On your bed. Get on your bloody bed! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, started having another bloody runny nose and a cold last night. Well, yesterday, I should say. But it hasn't affected my voice. Yeah, I'm still talking normal at the moment, so hopefully it won't affect it, so I'll still be able to do all my videos. I still got this snotty nose though, so I got plenty of tissue, so yeah, be fine. I'm just glad it hasn't affected my voice. Right, I'm gonna end this video, so I wanna thank you all for watching. She's eating, so I have to bear with that for a minute. For watching these videos and uh, yeah, for just being there. Supporting the channel is amazing, so thank you so much and if you're not subscribed as always press subscribe it really does make a difference to the channel and it helps the channel grow in YouTube as well and yeah it just helps the channel grow bigger and bigger and bigger in everything you can think of so on that note as always guys be good be safe and enjoy yourselves that's it enjoy it so from Sage and myself, Alan, take care, guys. Till the next video. Bye for now. Bye! <laughs>